and welcome to KJ's Kitchen. I am KJ, 14 years a master level fitness trainer, a fitness nutrition specialist, and most important to me, I'm a happy mom serving up healthy meals in my kitchen to yours every Wednesday here on Facebook on the Get KJ Fit fan page. You can also check me out over on Instagram at Get KJ Fit. Well, I know we're all stuck at home these days, um, but someone is turning 40 on Friday. So I thought what a wonderful way to offer you a homemade recipe that I call my skinny ass cocktail <laughs> because it is definitely cutting out carbohydrates and it's cutting down on calories if you are a cocktail lover. So I'll be making this for myself definitely on Friday, um, as I will be celebrating all day long. If anyone wants to do a happy hour Zoom with me, I'm happy to celebrate with you. Just ping me, inbox me, text me, call me, whatever you'd love. Um, because of the quarantine, I would love to get as much social interaction as possible for anyone who wants to have some birthday celebration with me. Either Thursday evening, I'm doing a Zoom cocktail hour, and then anytime Friday, you know, I'll be around. <laughs> so let's talk about my skinny cocktail. Um, so I love, love, love key lime pie. I actually told my husband, grab key limes because I'm going to make myself a key lime pie over the weekend because who doesn't want their favorite things for their birthday, especially a big four zero. So we got a bowl of key limes. Key limes are different than regular limes. They're itty bitty. So you gotta squeeze more of them to get the juice, right? Well, I'm gonna be showing you a skinny-esque key lime pie cocktail that you're gonna feel, I won't say justified drinking, but you're not gonna have as much guilt because I'm gonna show you this is carb-free, so delicious, and I'll let you know the calorie count of the cocktail. So let's start, if you don't have a cocktail mixing cup, like a little like shaker, you can go ahead and do this in like a protein shaker cup. Yeah, really, that's fine. It'll be plastic, um, but you can still get the work done. So three ice cubes in your shaker cup, okay? And we're gonna start with the key limes. I'm using about three. So I'll make one cocktail today because it's not celebration day, <laughs> um, but I'll be making plenty on Friday. So I'll show you how to make one cocktail. If you've got two friends to serve, you'll double the recipe. Three key limes. I like to take the lime and kind of roll it around and put some pressure in um, on it. So it's really not only pushing out the seeds, but it's getting it ready to be juiced. All right, three key limes. That's going to be around one tablespoon of key lime juice. Hey, you don't have key limes at your market or you seriously won't go out to your market right now because that's okay too. Use a regular lime, it's okay. I do find key limes have a little different of flavor. And let's rock. Got my little juice squeezer here. And I'm gonna measure it just to be certain. It's one tablespoon for one cocktail. Now if you're doing two cocktails, you can go ahead and use your dandy one ounce shot glass because one ounce is two tablespoons. So you'll just be doing one ounce if you're doubling this rather than having to measure your tablespoon twice. And I, these are tiny little guys, so you see the process. Doesn't take long. Quick squeeze. Quickie squeeze on number four here. Fourth half, that is. So I might hit a tablespoon at four, at three and a half. But I think I got a little bit of space. I'm gonna go ahead and very carefully whoop, 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 drop this into my little tin or my shake shaker cup, if that's what you got going on. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze in that last little half. So it's three key limes. If your limes are dried out, you know, if you're measuring one tablespoon of lime juice for one cocktail. Now, when I was a bartender in New York City, we did a key lime martini and we used the roses syrup, which is syrup. It's a lot of sugar. And we used it with vanilla vodka. Shake, shake, shake. Pour it out. You got this delicious what would be key lime martini. Well, that was because back in the day, this is like well over a decade ago, probably 15 years ago, we didn't have this little guy. Whoa, whipped cream flavored vodka. So this does have about 65 calories per ounce, 64 I think to be exact. 
we're gonna use an ounce and a half. So that's still shy under 100 calories for your cocktail. This is still carb free. A lot of people inquire about flavored vodkas. Does that mean there's sugar in them? Well, not all vodkas are created equal, but I have done the research and heard that Smirnoff, the brand Smirnoff, does not have sugar in their flavored vodkas. Therefore, still carb free when drunk, when, when consumed straight. We're gonna do a little mixing here. And I'm still gonna keep it carb free for you. Unless, how many carbs in lime juice? I actually didn't even check on that because to me, lime is lime. <laughs> okay, we're doing one and a half ounces of whipped cream vodka. Now, if you only have vanilla vodka at home, and again, you're not running to the liquor store during all this, vanilla vodka will work too. And now this is my little two ounce shot glass from my company, the little Angel A there. Usually I use it for my morning adaptogens because I take a shot every morning. Um, but I have measured plenty of times. That little head right there, right at the top of that guy's head, the Angel, is one and a half ounces. You could measure yourself. One and a half would be three tablespoons. If you don't have jiggers or shot glasses at home, it'd be three tablespoons of whipped cream, or I guess you could use vanilla vodka. Okay, so that's that. And now let's move into, you can't have a key lime pie, and we did not do this back in bartending days, without the cream, right? So I have heavy cream, not organic this time, because I went to Aldi's on my one run two weeks ago, and I wasn't gonna go to another store. They didn't have any at Aldi's at the time. So I've got just regular good old heavy cream. Organic is always preferred, but what you're gonna do during quarantine time. And I'm doing one teaspoon for one cocktail. It'll be two teaspoons if you're doubling it. 45 calories for a tablespoon. This means one teaspoon's 15 calories. So this whole cocktail is 100, maybe 105, 110 calories for the whole cocktail. Delightful. And what are we doing here? We're adding some fat, but not adding any carbohydrates, zero carbohydrates. So I like to tell my friends, this is a keto friendly cocktail. All right, and so that's that right there. We're gonna shake. Shake what your mama gave ya. <laughs> shake what your mama gave ya. Yeah. And I like to give it a good shake so it gets really mixed in, especially with that cream. I want this to kind of get frothy, huh? Feel like my old bartending days. Who knew me on here from my bartending days in New York City? I would love for you to ping in and uh, give me some good memories from either Bull's Head or King's Head Tavern, Luca Lounge, PS450, Vig, Vig Bar's where I met my husband. Not when I was hired there. Just put that on the record. I was not hired at the time when I met Frederick <laughs> at the Vig Bar. <laughs> okay, so I like to be fancy. I even put on my fancy shoes. I don't know if you can see that. I put my fancy girl shoes on and my fancy tiara. I wore black because isn't that what you do when you turn 40? <laughs> So I'm using a flute. This goes out to all the seniors out there who are missing their proms. This prom flute was from Reading High School circa 1996. I don't know why. I went to four proms and I have four flutes. I don't know why we were doing flutes as our walk away, you know, thing for prom. Yeah, I went to prom, I have a flute. Because why are we encouraging that when we go off to college, we're gonna use this? I never used them, but I have them in the cupboard still. So you've got this, this is one. If you're doing two, you're just gonna evenly separate it between two flutes. If you're using a protein shaker that doesn't have a strainer, you're gonna go ahead and do the fancy two finger hold over the strainer so the ice chunks, cause I beat up some ice in there, don't get in there. Okay, is that beautiful, frothy? So next, and now if you wanna keep the ratio exactly as I do, I suggest two ounces of, this one's from Aldi's, kind of like La Croix, La Croix, La Croix, I have no idea how to say it, La Croix. It is lime flavored seltzer water, so it's not calories, there's no even like stevia or anything in here, it's just fizzy water that has a little essence and no juice. So lime flavored, and I would suggest two ounces only if you wanna have the flavor profile I'm going for here. And otherwise, if you find you taste it and it's way too strong for you, add a little more fizzy. Whoop, look how beautiful. So, as this sits, 
if, if you were even gonna wait for it to sit, <laughs> um, it will start to separate and it'll have a nice big frothy head and it will kind of look like a, the color of lemonade. The more it sits, it's definitely gonna take a little time for that, but who's gonna wait for it, right? So this skinny ass key lime cocktail, I would like to say it's a martini, but first I don't have martini glasses. And second, I may have to claim it would be, um, I, I think this is a little sexier. And if it's a skinny ass cocktail, I'd like it in a skinny ass glass, <laughs> right? Beg my pardon for any kids who might be tuning in today. My daughter asked if she could be on camera with me and I was like, honey, mommy's doing an alcohol beverage. I think it's a little inappropriate that you be my sidekick. But she did let me wear her birthday girl tiara. <laughs> Cheers to you. Let me give this a little whirl for you. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, so my husband said, wow, it's fresh. It is super fresh. But there's no sugar in here. And because the whipped cream vodka brings that forward flavor of whipped cream, the cream itself, the heavy cream, although only a teaspoon, gives it the cream factor. So you really are like drinking key lime pie here. And then it's just enough lime to give you that delicious level of key lime pie. So 105, maybe 110 calories. I'll have to get really specific seeing how many calories are in my lime. But this little guy is a lot less calorie than a glass of wine. Definitely less calories than a beer, unless you do those light beers that taste like fizzy water and maybe you can get down to 100 calories on those. But more than wine or beer, carb free. Just means a little less guilt if you are gonna be celebrating and why don't you go ahead and mix up this cocktail for me on Friday. Cheers the glass, I'd love to see you. Um, anyone who wants to, you know, have happy hour with me, I'm gonna be doing a Thursday evening happy hour with friends. And Friday, I would love to have any interjections of one-on-one -on -one FaceTimes or whatever because someone is turning 40. <laughs> Cheers to you. If this recipe served you, please share it to your wall. Um, tag a friend who you know this might also work for. And uh, just most of all, stay home, stay safe, stay well, take care of your health. That's all we can really focus on during these times. So if that means also relieving stress with a little skinny ass martini or a skinny ass cocktail, I got you covered. You can see the separation starting already, right? Isn't that beautiful? Lots of love to everyone. I'll see you here next Wednesday and have a wonderful, blessed wellness Wednesday yourself. Take care.